The title of the project which we're presenting is uh, First Line Immuno-Oncology Combination Therapies in Metastatic Renal Cell Carcinoma, uh, preliminary results from the International Metastatic RCC Database Consortium. Uh, and the premise of this study is uh, kind of as follows. So for, until recently, for about 10 years, the standard of care treatment for first line metastatic uh, renal cell carcinoma for most patients worldwide is treatment with a VEGF tyrosine kinase inhibitor such as sunitinib or pazopinib. Fortunately, uh, recently we've had several phase three randomized controlled trials which have been uh, either published or presented at major medical meetings which have demonstrated uh, improved efficacy of novel uh, immuno-oncology combination therapies. The first of these trials to be reported was a Checkmate 214 study which uh, demonstrated that treatment with ipilimumab and nivolumab, two separate IO, uh, IO agents, uh, was uh, led to improved outcomes versus sunitinib alone. Uh, so we can call that IO, IO treatment. Uh, more recently, there have been other studies which have looked into IO-VEGF combination treatments which have demonstrated improved efficacy over sunitinib alone. And some of those studies which have been reported include the uh, Emotion 151 trial which demonstrated that atezolizumab and bevacizumab uh, has improved efficacy over sunitinib and other studies include the Javelin study uh, which looked into evalumab and exitinib and uh, what's going to be presented later on at this meeting is pembrolizumab and exitinib as part of the keynote study. So while all of these uh, data are very interesting and exciting for RCC patients, uh, uh, clinicians and patients are still left in a bit of a clinical conundrum because these uh, combinations have never been compared against each other. So we don't know uh, which, how, how they stack up against each other. And it's unlikely that randomized data is probably ever going to come comparing all of these different regimens together. Uh, so, so what we tried to do was use the IMDC, which is a database consisting of now over 10,000 patients worldwide from 40 separate institutions, approximately 40 institutions, um, and tried to see if we could compare uh, how people did uh, in terms of those receiving IOIO versus IOVEGF-based treatments.